Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to toss together a very simple, very healthy and very traditional Middle Eastern salad called fatouche. Now, I like tabbouleh, but I love fatouche. And the reason is the main, well, one is the main ingredient, but the one ingredient that has to go into a fatouche is crisp pita bread. The rest is pretty fluid. You can use tomatoes, cucumber, green onions or spring onions. You could use some slices of red onion, big handfuls of herbs. I like to use the young soft herbs for this because I don't like to chop them up. I just want to tear them a little bit. So if you've got a choice, if you've got a garden or you're harvesting from one of our beautiful plants, the younger, softer herbs for this are a good idea. Some fatouche contain lettuce, some don't. I know Michael doesn't put lettuce in his, but we have a chopped salad elsewhere in this menu, so I thought the lettuce would be a good idea in this one. And the other ingredient that's in every fatouche is this beautiful sumac. Now sumac is a Middle Eastern spice made from a ground red berry. Lots of different sumac plants, I believe there's about 35 species or more, and a number of them are used medicinally, a number of them are used in cooking. And I think they're related to cashews. Anyway, they have a lovely tangy lemony flavour. So we will use a little olive oil and lemon juice in our dressing, but we'll use some of this lovely tangy sumac as well. So what do we need to do? Tomatoes. And you know by now, I like to use cherry tomatoes because they have beautiful ripe flavour all year round. If it's the middle of summer and you've got gorgeous ripe tomatoes, go for it. With the cherry tomatoes or the grape tomatoes, if they're large, I cut them into quarters. If they're small, I just cut them in half. With the cucumber, one of my favourite vegetables for salads, we just cut it in half and then into thick moons. But again, there's no rules. You do what you want, you put in what you want, you leave out what you don't want. I've got to love a recipe like that, right? So in with our cucumber. There we go. Onions, as I said, green onions, spring onions, finely sliced red onion, whatever you like. I like the greenness in this. So we're just going to give that a fine slice and toss it in. And I think we'll take it up a little way and include some of the green, not the dark green. We'll save those for making Chinese shallot pancakes, but some of our green here. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I love Middle Eastern food because it's so healthy. Yes, there's a lot of olive oil. Yes, there's a little bit of deep frying, but there's always, always a salad on the table. Throughout the Middle East, people don't feel like they've eaten unless they've had salad and fresh vegetables. Now, our lettuce, you can break the leaves apart and give it a bit of a wash. I've given it a wipe over. These beautiful little baby cods don't really have any dirt or anything on them so I'm going to be brave and just slice it up but by all means pop it in the sink of cold water either after you slice it or before you slice it use as much or as little as you like I think that's probably enough I'm going to save that for another salad another day and our herbs now if they're really young and tender don't chop them at all. If you've used bigger leaves, you can just run the knife through them once or twice like that. Now, as I said, Michael doesn't use lettuce at all in his. He just uses twice as many herbs. We're using mint and parsley. You could certainly put in coriander, dill, a little bit of oregano, oregano. I wouldn't use too much. And we're just going to toss that all together. I might have... Uh, underestimated the size of the bowl I needed, so don't you do that, let that be a lesson to you. I think we'll transfer this to a bigger bowl before we toss it with the dressing. Now we can get our salad to this stage of combining the vegetables and then just cover it and set it aside until we're ready to serve. I've seen recipes that dress it and put the pita crisps through it and leave it. 
I don't want my feta crisps soft. Obviously, those, those recipe writers do, and they are traditional recipes. But for me, the beauty of this salad is the crunch of the pita crisps. So they're going to be the last thing to go in. When I'm ready to serve, a good sprinkling of salt, the dressing, just olive oil, lemon juice, and sumac. I like it in a screw top jar. Don't add it all to start with. Give it a bit of a toss and see if you think it's going to need it all. I think it is, because we're also going to put those pita crisps in, but it's easy to add, it's hard to take away. Yeah, we definitely want the rest of that in there as well. So there it goes. And toss, toss, toss. You can be delicate and do this with salad tosses if you like, but I think the best way to really make sure everything's mixed through there is with your hands. And I'm not going to add the pita crisps until I'm plating this up in the bowl. So when we're ready to serve, here it is in our beautiful salad bowl. Give it a good mix around. Make sure we've got some of that lovely red tomato on top. And now it's up to you. Do you want to break them up? If they're little ones like that, I, don't, I want to leave them whole. If they're big ones like this, I might just snap them in half. We do need to give it a little bit of a mix through, so some of them are going to soften, but for me, I want most of them sitting around on the top. It's going to get mixed up as it goes on the people's plates anyway, so let's keep them as crisp as possible for as long as possible. Enjoy.